All right, so we're going to start out using uh, Scribbits this time. Usually we're going from GIMP to Inkscape to Scribbits, but that's not always the case. Uh, let's see, Scribbits. And we need to set up our document into points. Um, basically we need pixels really, but points are what we consider pixels in this program. Okay, so the pixels we need to set up is 1920 by 1080. Okay, and let's hit OK. So zoom out and you'll see that this is a very large landscape document. So this will fit on a standard, or not a standard TV, but a, a high def TV. So we're making digital presentations this time. And we need to insert both of our images, the before and after, on, on uh, the grayscale, black and white, and three color. So here's where I start. I'll make one, you make the other two. And we, you have to save all three. So insert. And I'll take this and right click on it and say get image. And I'll get the before. Okay. Now I'll size this frame up. And I could do that by right clicking on it and say adjust frame to image. And if I take this and hit Control D, makes a duplicate. Then right click on this one and say Get Image. Go to takes a second for my system to wake up sometimes. There we go, we got a nice before and after. Now let's put before there. Let's go to the properties panel, which is just right clicking Go to properties and we can go to text. Get this a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. Let's center that text up. And let's pick uh, a font that's not so boring. And again, I could use my wheel mouse here. You should stay at least zoomed out a little bit here because what will happen is you'll pick out something based upon aesthetics when they're smaller. This one's a little hard to read, right? Where that one's, where this one's not so bad. but you can judge it faster if it's small. So I'm going to choose something that's aesthetically pleasing to look at, not crazy. Okay? We're not making crazy yet. And we'll copy that over using Control D and make an after. So the settings for this one is uh, 55 points. There we go. Now let's copy this frame. And let's call it what it is. 
color to high contrast grayscale. So when you're presenting your work to people that have no idea what the lesson is, it's a powerful tool. It really is. Like because you get to step back as a as an observer to your own learning and say, wait, yeah, that was that was the lesson. And I don't think we do that enough. and put your name underneath it. Control A will highlight all the text. And let's get your name a little bit bigger there. I'm going to zoom in using Control just so I can highlight the name. And that's relatively hard. <laughs> it's astoundingly hard, actually. So we're going to up the line space. Zoom in more. So in this case, I'm going to up the point. Or continue on with this grayscale. Grab the text here, make it as big as I need it to be. Using the wheel mouse, inserting anything that I need, like that. And now I have my text here. And you can see I can adjust the, the spacing here between. So if I wanted greater spacing, I would say like 56. And that would make it easier to grab. It looks better that way. All right, so that's layout. Um, now let's make it so it's easier to read on a, on a television in the next video.